I am light. I am oxygen. I am energy. I am life. Feel the way its truth resonates with your inner consciousness. Feel it. Beyond being a vessel of energy or just the body you have, you are the living essence of the universe. Hey, hey. Hey, guys. It's Awakening with Ali. So honored for this guest today. You guys, I just love this woman, this healer, this true light in our space. This interview has been so like, we've been waiting to do it and it's finally here. And I'm just so excited for the alignment and all the things we're going to talk about. I have the beautiful Sandra Biskind here with me. And I want to tell you guys a little bit about her and then we're going to get into her journey. So Sandra is a global spiritual teacher, a keynote speaker, and co-author of four international number one best-selling books, including Code Breaker, Discover the Password to Unlock the Best Version of You. A global award-winning businesswoman, Sandra inspires, enlightens, and empowers people to fulfill their extraordinary human potential so they can be more prosperous, fulfilled, and have a greater impact in the world. Uh, She was knighted in 2017 for her work to help end suffering. She is known as a profound energy master and transformational leaders leader. And she has the ability to access the human emotional field to reveal your core soul issues and delete their dysfunctional impact on your life. For the past 40 years, Sandra has attuned people to the enlightenment frequency of unconditional love, which changes the brain state, facilitating higher levels of awareness and success. You guys, and there's so much more to say about this woman, but we're going to go right into her journey and how she got here and all about her and then really discuss some amazing projects we've got going on together. So Sandra, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's my honor, Ali. And your youth enthusiasm and the fact that you're doing Awakening with Ali, um, how could I say no to a show <laughs> a name like that? So thank you so much for, for having me and, and thank you to everybody who will be seeing this. It's great to be with you. Yes, I'm so I'm so excited. We've been doing some projects together and so much more to come. We're going to get into that in this show. But before we do, I mean, you have such an incredible, you know, resume and and so many, you know, testimonials to your name in the healing space. And I'm curious, even for me, you know, and of course, for the audience to learn, but How did that all begin? Like, did you always know that you were going to be in this space? Like, was Sandra always someone who knew she was a healer? Did you always know, you know, you can, you know, you could access the emotional code? Like, where did it all begin? Yeah, that's a big question. (laughs) Okay. So for me, it began consciously when I was three. Because at three, I had divine beings come to me at night and they would speak to me and give me direction. And one of them identified himself as Jesus. And by four, I'd already gone to my mama and said, hey, mommy, why does Jesus talk to you about at night when you go to sleep? And um, I think I'm going to be a priest. And she said to me, oh, no, you're not Catholic and you're not a man. So I went <laughs> away as a four-year-old, pretty dejected. But... I knew I wasn't a man, but I didn't know what Catholic was. And uh, we didn't have the name Jesus in our home. There was no uh, religion in our home. So my mother's like, whoa, what, where did this come from, right? And then the next day I went back to her and I knew that nuns were, were girls. So I said, well, well, then I'll be a nun. And she said to me, no, Sandra, you're still not Catholic. And if you're a nun, you won't be able to get married and have babies. And you want to do that, don't you? And I'm going... Yes, and I remember, and you know how four-year-olds can do this. I put my hands on my hips and I looked her in the eye and he said, don't you worry about a thing, mummy. When I get older, I will work for God. And it was like, that was it. So right from the beginning, um, as a medium, I guess you could say in a channel, I I was totally open to uh, this divine guidance. And when my, uh, I almost died at the age of 18 and that was when I had my first full awakening experience where I understood what life was really all about, <laughs> not what life had been like. And two months later, I got the message that my mother was going to die and she was killed in hospital at the age of 41 and I was 18. And that, you know, there are certain things in your life, Ali, that, that changes the trajectory and changes your course. And of course... I thought almost dying did that, but no, two months later, the nightmare of my mother being given 
18 pints of the wrong blood group where she bled out and died. That was like the, whoa. So I had to leave school and I went in with my sister and my father to help take over her fashion businesses. And uh, for, so for two years I, I ran my, my parents' fashion business and at the age of 20 I, I had sold the business and I couldn't get a job. And I had just married a man, 10 years older than me, who was the, the head controller of women's fashion of Target Australia. So it was this natural progression. I can't get a job. Okay, I'll open my own boutique. And uh, yes, at 20, I, I did that. And I opened it in a, a townhouse out of the way of all... Uh, retail and I had all of the businessmen in the town were saying it got back to us saying she's a stupid little girl Uh, she'll be broke within six months I don't know if any of you have ever had a man or anybody say that to you as though your dream meant nothing but when you do please do not listen because uh, 25 year, years later, with uh, my own fashion label and seven boutiques, I guess I proved them wrong. Um, by the age of 27, I had got up the courage to leave what had become a very abusive marriage. And I knew that I had to um, not only survive, but thrive. And I, all I ended up with was, with was one of the boutiques. The rest I left, left him completely with. And um, that's when I was introduced to a healing circle and I learned how to meditate. And that's when I learned how to uh, master my own frequencies. And boy, Ali, when you learn to master your own frequency, energy, vibration, you change your existence. Because remember that your frequency, energy, vibration is a direct relationship to your thoughts and emotions which means if you can get neutral to your emotions, if you can control your thought process, which we're not taught really to do that, once you can do that, uh, success is assured really in everything because you're showing up as the best version of you. You don't have knee-jerk reactions to what people are saying and doing. And you're no longer oblivious to how you are affecting other people in your life. This was very important. I remember showing up to work one day and one of my very courageous staff members said to me, you know, Sandra, we don't know what we're going to get with you. Are you going to be angry, sad, unhappy or a bitch when you come to work? And I was like, I'm Ellie, truly a light went on. Now I could have gone into victim mode easily, except that wasn't my consciousness at the time. And instead I said, thank you. I mean, I would, I truly, my ego mind, my, my pack of ego puppies wanted to say, hey, hang on a minute, I'm dealing with bad health, um, a financial problem in town, I'm dealing with um, just having a divorce and, you know, like on and on and on. My, I could have sprouted all of this stuff, but instead I just said, said thank you. And I did something really important. Every morning before I went into work, I changed my frequency. So no matter what I was feeling, I changed it so that I could walk into that space and be the person that I wanted to be. And I did it by using four questions. And those four questions not only mastered my energy, frequency, vibration, but uh, they took me from being ground zero financially to becoming a self-made millionaire by the age of 30, three years later. And it was such a huge lesson. So needless to say that in my book, Codebreaker, discover the password to unlock the best version of you. This story is in there with the four questions. And we've you know, taught thousands of people how to use them. And, in, and of course, their businesses have changed. The, the way they relate to their relationship has changed. The way they relate to the world, their children, changes. And you know why? Because you get neutral. Uh, we're, we are run, 95% of the time, we're being run by our unconscious mind. Now, I know that you already know this. It's like the unconscious mind. That means that everything that is hidden in those millions and millions of miles of DNA within us uh, that is hidden from us can come up at any time. A look, an email, a word, a tone of voice can trigger off a reaction and we're going, oh my God, where did that come from? Why do I feel so much pain around this? And it's because of the events, emotions, and decisions that we've made in the past 
that are no longer in the conscious mind. They're from past lives or other dimensional realities or from our ancestors and upbringing. And they're dormant, thank goodness, until something triggers them. And you can use the four questions to open that up and find out what it is in the unconscious and completely neutralize it. Or you can work with me. <laughs> and and the, one of the greatest gifts that I am forever grateful for is that as a medium, I can go into the matrix of your soul and discover those events, emotions and decisions, change them on a quantum level and then come into this reality, change them here so that emotion, um, those emotions no longer have any force to control you. So that's why my, my clients always not know now that neutrality is key and when you're neutral, you have a very different life. And by the way, neutrality could be another word for enlightenment, like the awakened soul, which you're talking about awakening with Ali. The awakened soul usually becomes the silent observer of what is. The awakened soul is um, cognizant of uh, how you are affecting the people around you, you're mindful of what, of the messages that you're getting from internally. There's a very different way of being in the world when you're awakened. And I'm sure that's the reason why you're doing this podcast, because your soul uh, is on that path of awakening and you're allowing your journey to be shared with others so that there's this empowerment and collaboration and sharing going on that helps humanity now in a time where we need it the most. Yeah, wow, that's, that's so that's powerful. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so that's so powerful. And and thank you for sharing that, you know, and, and I love it you said, you know, a space of neutrality because it's true. It's like, you know, when I started working through my own traumas and different things that I wasn't even aware of were, you know, essentially buried and things I had compartmentalized that I didn't want to deal with and all different things, you know, instead of, like you said, coming from a triggering space, coming from a space of, you know, oh, that upsets me. Oh, I'm a victim. Oh, it's this, oh, it's that. And coming from a true space of that neutrality of being like, okay, I see it but I know what it is and I'm not going to let it take hold of me, you know? And, and it's so true. It's when you come to that space, you're able to come back to yourself and find that inner peace. You know, so many people have said to me over the last few years, wow, you're a totally different person you used to be. And I'm like, oh, I am a hundred percent. Like I used to be the woman that was on autopilot, you know, couldn't even tell you like what day it was, what was going on, you know, was just like in whatever I was working on, not present, you know, not checking in all these things. And now I feel like I'm probably the most present I've ever been in my life, but it's such a gift because, you know, when you are in that, you realize like, okay, when something happens, you're able, like you said, to come back to that neutral space and be like, okay, that's not really like a reflection of me. That's just kind of what's happening in this space right now. And this person's being triggered and I can kind of see it for what it is. And I also think, you know, it resonated when you were saying too about becoming an observer. I realize even more and more with myself, like when something happens in my household, like I no longer trigger and react. I observe what's playing out. And, and I never used to do that. I used to, you know, trigger and, and, and spout off my mouth and, you know, all kinds of stuff. And now it's like, oh, okay, now I'm, I'm becoming an observer of my life. I'm really, you know, silently taking it all in. And then if things need to be addressed, you know, then addressing it later on and saying something from a much more, like you said, mindful place. And exactly, you know, with this podcast, I kept, it was funny, like six months ago or so now I kept waking up and, you know, God kept giving me messages that I was going to do a new podcast. And I was laughing. I told my husband, Justin, I was like, I'm going to do another show. And he's like, what, what are you doing? What are you rebranding? Like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I just keep getting like these, you know, visions and everything. And I had no idea, Sandra, because I already had this show, Everything with Ali Levine, that was kind of like literally everything, motherhood, wellness, spirituality, career, all things. Um, and it was like two years long, you know, going and going strong. And I'm like, why would I start a new show, you know? And it just kept coming. And then like one morning, like it actually reminds me of the background of your, you know, beautiful book, that pink there is kind of like what I saw, like above my head in a meditative state in like a cloud that said awakening. And I was like, Oh, this is a totally different type show. Yeah, exactly. And you know, Ali, 
Doesn't it feel good when you keep your mouth shut when you get triggered? I love the way you said, I've, I've observed it. One of the things that I, I realised that that's really important for all of us to know, especially when we're in relationship, well, in with anybody, but especially our significant other. Um, Daniel and I have just got to this place now where it is so loving and so fulfilling on every level. And the way we speak to each other, and I always say to people, when you get triggered, it's not about them. The first question you have to ask yourself is, oh, what do I believe to be true about me that that just triggered pain. And I would say to Daniel, wow, the way you said that just made me feel really weird. And I, I didn't say, boy, you know, you're wrong, you're this, you're that. I'm saying it's about me. Like, and, I'm, and, I, and I would say then, I wonder what that is. Like, what's the program? And he said, oh, let's find out. And, and I'll never do that again like that, right? Yeah. So when you, when you have a relationship where you can take 100% radical personal responsibility and you know it is all about you. I mean, that doesn't that sound narcissistic, but it's not. It's all about you in that you're only ever being triggered and in pain because you're not neutral. If somebody said something to you and you didn't have a program around it, you wouldn't get triggered. There wouldn't right. be any pain, right? You know that saying, if the cat fits, wear it? Well. <laughs> Right. And I kept thinking, yeah, does that cap fit me? Like, why? Why does it fit me? And um, I remember, you know, after I'd been in a, a marriage with a man who got angry very quickly and acted that anger out to be emotionally and physically abusive, that I was single from 27 to 45 when I met Daniel. And when I met Daniel, we had this thing we, well we were we agreed to be married within I think 12 hours of knowing each wow. other and yeah and um so we didn't know each other when we got married and uh, I remember one day this uh I invited someone over for lunch and Daniel displayed anger and the lunch happened and my friend left and I looked at him I said you know Daniel I was married to a man for eight years who was angry and I, I left him because of this. I said, if you ever talk to me like that, again, in that tone of voice, you will not see me for dust. I guess that's an, an, an Aussieism, right? <laughs> and he looked, at, he looked at me and said, oh, okay, so that won't happen again. Did you hear, you know, like, I was, I was, I understood that the anger triggered off this awful response within me. But I was also so clear that I'm saying, I'm not going to live with that ever again. And I think that when you get older, you start to understand what you will and you won't live with. And when you can say it in a way that people understand, oh, okay, um, if I want this person in my life, I might have to make a couple of changes in, in my tone of voice or what I say and how I say it. That makes it so easy for us to be in an awakened relationship. Um, I just, look, I could talk about relationships forever because it's really important. Would you, by the way, would you like to know what the four questions are? Or would you I'd love to know if you want to share. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think, I think because you've got an awakened audience. So the first question that I asked myself was, what am I feeling? Obviously. And I, and I was going, I feel alone, unsupported, unloved, um, angry, upset. I mean, I actually had a litany of what I was feeling. And then the second question, which was the important one, because the second question is addressing the unconscious mind. And I said, what am I focused on? And it was like, ah, oh, I'm focused on the fact that my suppliers are calling me every 30 minutes in my shop. And in those days, there was no such thing as a mobile phone. I couldn't walk out. And uh, they were asking me for money that I didn't have. And it was so embarrassing and so shocking. And I didn't want to, I just did not want to go to work. And then the third question is, what do I want to feel? And that was an easy one for me too. It was like, I want to feel happy about being in work in my own business. And then it was, what focus will serve that? And all of a sudden, now you're asking your true self. Now you're asking the divine guidance that we all have what focus will serve that, what I really want to feel? And the answer was like, oh, 
I am so happy and grateful for the fact that I created this business, that I have this amazing staff, that I have incredible clients, that I have this wisdom and creativity and, and yes, even the suppliers. And I got out of my car, it was like I was walking into the business on cloud nine. And when my suppliers would ring, I'd say, guess what, I don't have the check, it's not in the mail. And they'd go, what, you're not lying to us? I'm going, no. But I will tell you that whatever I take this week, you will get a part of it until you are fully paid off. And do you know that every single one of my suppliers supported me all the way through that financial crisis? Wow. And not only that, because of the level of integrity that I had, they made me a priority in my boutique, a priority in my town. So can you imagine that just by using the four questions, first of all, I was really real about what I was feeling. I asked my unconscious what the focus was, and this is a beautiful thing. Don't mix up what you're feeling with your focus because they're two entirely different things. And then what do I want to feel? Make it big. I wanted to feel happy about being at my, in my place of work. And then what focus will serve that? And that's where you stop and take a breath. And it's very much into being grateful. It's into being whatever. I mean, I even look at things like now... Um, I, I love things being beautiful. Spirit loves beauty, right? And so I love things being beautiful around my home. And if Daniel leaves something out, rather than getting upset, I go, oh, I'm upset about that. Why? Spirit loves beauty. I really, I really want it to be beautiful. <laughs> you know, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> um, how do I want to feel? I want to feel really good about Daniel and this. What focus will serve that? Pick it up myself. Put it in the dishwasher myself. Do it myself. And when I do it myself, it's done. I look around and go, ah, oh, wow. So now I'm not the nagging wife. Now I'm not looking at the thing that did upset me. I mean, it's so simple how we can take control of our own thought process and emotions. And yet we're just not taught to do it. I was going to say, we're not taught at all. We're actually kind of taught the opposite. It's like, you know, if you have an intuitive thought or you think you know something, it's like, oh, no, 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 this expert knows better. This person, this system, this program knows better. When really, like you said, it's it's within us. Like, you know, God is within us and you know, like your downloads, what you're receiving, your guidance, you're being told for a reason, you know, and, and checking in with that and being able to follow that versus, you know, listening to the program that's essentially triggering you and not serving you. It's like, such a, it's a totally different state, but you're right. It's a awakened state. It's an, you know, it is an enlightenment state. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you are conscious. There is no more of being unconscious. You know, it's funny when I think back to how I was so unconscious of so much and now like something will happen. And even if I wanted to pretend I was unconscious, like I, I can't, like, no, I'm, you can't, can you? <laughs> there's no going back. You're like, no. once you're there, it's like, oh, here that, that's is. the good news and the bad news. <laughs> there's no <laughs> going back. <laughs> and yeah. by the way, you wouldn't want to, would you? No. Because isn't no. there a level of joy and luminosity that comes with this? It's, um, to me, it's like when you know the truth of who you are, uh, everything starts to make sense. Everything. Yes, I agree. It's true. You do. And and I love that you knew it, you know, age three, you know, that you were going to be a woman of God and, and, and knew where you were, even though you didn't know, you know, what that role was and, and everything. And, and I mean, so as you, you know, kind of came into the healing space and started working with clients, like, did you just always know how to tap in and help them heal like that that was just a gift within you that you followed or like what did that path look like for you because like you said you had you know the boutique you had all those different projects how did you then end up being in such a space of the you know the spiritual serving and helping others really heal well even you know from 20 to 45 when I was in the, the fashion industry all the way through that I was still writing for spiritual magazines, putting on huge mind, body, spirit festivals. Like that didn't go away for me. Okay. That was, yeah, th Thursday nights were healing meditation circles where we were expected to channel, to heal each other, to do things. You know, that I'm still doing a Thursday night healing circle in my home. And so there was, there's always been that baseline for me that's been the most important thing regardless of all of the challenges the traumas the operations the pain that I've been through there's been this baseline that that is like the, the spiritual filling station and that when you can come home to something like that uh, meditation and a, a conscious group like this for instance when you have that in your life 
uh, you've got a you've got a support system that you know you're going to be able to get through whatever it is that's being you know thrown at you and so it's my this this has gone through many phases when I first started uh, healing people I would look at the ground and I would see lights in the form of a movie and there'd be this movie going on the ground and I would just talk about what the movie was related to them and they go oh my god (laughs) and it was just theirs and then it went to that was not sustainable then it went to I had a dream one night that I saw these people walking down the stairs and I just looked at their stomach and their whole all of their lifetimes were there so that I knew that that was happening and then I went through this phase where I had a year of um, getting getting to a place where in four days during a huge mind body spirit festival in brisbane in australia i had this download come in it was like this etheric crystal it took four days for it to drop through my skull into my brain massive pain but the most incredible experience people were dropping at their feet with me crying uh holding me they they were having past life recall wow. like this people were coming out of their booths giving me gifts and i'm like what the hell you know and I was shaking every every cell in my being was shaking as this this um, total uh, upgrade in the way my brain could process divinity and information happened so the moment that finished and I'd been giving healings throughout the whole thing and it was it was really a phenomenal experience it is in Codebreaker as well then then it was like I didn't need to do anything it was just all I had to do was listen and I would listen, I would um, listen to what your true self is telling me. And these beings that came through called themselves the ancients, the first energy from God. And they, they came with lightning and thunder. Like the power was like, <gasps> okay, <laughs> I don't know if I really want this. And, um, but the, the end result is that I have this um, incredible gift that I wouldn't trade for the world. And Ali, I don't know if you want me to give you a little bit of a, an idea of what this is, if you want me to work. Oh, I'd be, I'd be honored, but no pressure, but if you want to, for sure. I just feel like you are so vulnerable. It just depends (laughs) if you want to be that vulnerable with this audience. Yeah, I know. I mean, look, that's why I started waking with Ali. You know, I honestly, I told you, like, I mean, dogging me the show, but I really am not even exactly sure, honestly, like, where it's going, what it's doing. I'm just letting it, you know, evolve on its own. But I just know that as like you said, it serves to purpose, especially right now for the collective of people not only being able to hear other people's journeys of awakening and of course my own, but then being able to be vulnerable in this space and be real and raw about, you know, their feelings, what this awakening looks like. If they don't even know what it is, you know, maybe this helps them understand that maybe they're going through one, you know? So yeah, if there's something you want to share, please okay. do. Sure. So, um, the, the important thing to understand here is for everybody is that when I'm working on Ali, I'm actually working on you as well because your DNA and unconscious mind are listening to everything. And when I tap into Ali, they're in a group, what I've learned is like I could be on stage with 500 people in the audience and I've got someone up on the stage with me. When I ask them how are they feeling, they've all gone, <gasps> and they've made a shift. So if you are watching this, just take note of what you're feeling and Ellie, what challenge would you like me to work on? What would you like to get neutral around? True. I would say probably finances. <laughs> okay, good. So, so for each, everybody out there, Ellie's talking about money and finances, and that's a big one for the whole of humanity, right? Especially now, after the last few years. So let's just go in, and um, when, I'm, when I'm tapping into you, I'm getting it's definitely spiritual, emotional, Okay, so spiritual, mental, and emotional. And when I, when, when I pick up on that, anything that comes up spiritual, I go there first. Because spiritual messes us up big time. So I'll just find out what that is. And, and it's definitely a past life. So let me find out what that is, and then we'll just go in. Let's see. All right. So what I'm being sh- what your true self is showing me is that I'm seeing you uh, in a in a lifetime where you are a tax collector, and you're a tax collector for a very mean and greedy. I was going to say king, but no, I got told no sheriff. So this is a long time ago, and um, you had to go and collect taxes. And as you were collecting the taxes, you realized that the sheriff was bleeding 
the people in his shire and it was really hard and you were you were really upset about the pain that you were causing you were really upset about the people and what they were going through and you were you were like what am I going to do? And the fact is that you had a job and you were being paid where the majority of these people didn't and they were not being paid. So you were looking after your family, you were feeding your family. There was this uh, contradiction going on. Do I do this and continue to make money and feed my family or do I stop it because it hurts so much? And eventually this was taken out of your hands because what I see is that you started taking less and less and less from them and they were like, oh, wow, this is amazing. You know, we're not bled dry. The sheriff must be amazing. And they're all thinking it's the great sheriff, not re realizing it's you. And then when you go back and the sheriff's going, what gives? Where is it? Like, it's not happening. And you would tell him, explain to him that, you know, you, we really need to let them make more money so we can have more. And he's going, no, this is not your call. It's my call. You're out of here. And wow, like from the moment you were out of there, hang on, let me just see. No, you weren't just out of there. The sheriff had you flogged and you were in so much pain and I'm actually seeing you being flogged and you have a heart attack and you're dying. And as this is happening, you're making a lot of decisions. This incredible man who was trying to do the right thing by everybody and not take their money as all of a sudden now he's being flogged because of the way he was and he's making these decisions like these karmic decisions I will never ever take money from anybody ever again I will never put myself into a situation where I am being told to take money from anywhere I'm never going I'm just going to make sure that I stay small and I stay in the background and if I do this then my family will be safe my family is safe if I'm not taking money from anybody. Can you imagine if that you have a soul agreement like that, that now for you to start a business and to have a business where people are going to do a fair trade and, and trade with you for money, which is what we do in this time frame, um, your, your, your whole inner core is going, no, 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 no. Um, I'm not taking money from anybody. Your conscious mind could be going, hey, I deserve to have a fantastic financial stream. I deserve to have great finances. Uh, and But your unconscious mind that is running you 95% of the time is going, oh no, remember this, danger, danger, danger. You're not going to do it. So what we're going to do, Ali, in a scale of zero to 10, finances being really difficult, zero being zero, what number would you say you would be? Um, probably closer to seven, eight, probably. Yeah. Your conscious mind is saying that and your unconscious mind just said 10. So this is great. Remember conscious, unconscious. Mm -hmm. So let's get you to zero. And what we're doing first is we're going to ask your true self on a quantum level to go back into that time frame. And your true self is going to change that lifetime because we're holistic beings mm -hmm. and we want the whole of all you are. So everybody who has a money financial program running just imagine that we're now that you're going back in time on a quantum level as well and i'm seeing it all it always amazes me what the true self does and i'm thinking oh maybe you run away but no your true self now has act, has seen what has been happening and you go to the sheriff but this time you've got your true self with you this amazing huge white light behind you so when you walk in the door the sheriff goes Oh, like what is happening here? This is not just an ordinary being. And you are commanding this level of curiosity and respect from him. And when you go in, you say, I've got something really important I want to share with you. And you explain to him how his policies are ruining his kingdom, ruining his gyre. And he's so immersed in the light and what you're saying in the heart. His heart is opened and he says to you, you are now my advisor you you decide what we do in order to keep the shire strong happy healthy and how much we need to collect and you now go out and you take from the people only that which they can afford the percentage of that which they can afford and the entire village and shire are uh, flourishing and your sheriff is the happiest sheriff in all of the kingdom 
So now on a quantum level, that's corrected out of your system. Let's go into your system now and neutralize and delete zero to infinity out of your system, the beliefs, programs, and ideas that it is dangerous to charge money for anything, to take money from anybody, to um, be in a position where you are being asked to ask for money. Let's neutralize and delete all of that out of your system and every other program, known and unknown, on a mental, emotional, and spiritual level and give you 100% infinite potential to be corrected, to be strong, to know the truth. You are a high frequency divine being and you can trust that it is safe for you to, um, uh, to produce a product, to, pr to produce a program, to produce and sell that which makes sense to you, that is integrity, and to be paid accordingly for it. Uh, let's go into your uh, brain waves and neutralize and delete the neuronal pathways of those habitual thinking and give you brand new karmic soul agreement and new neuronal pathways for the brain. That is, I am a high frequency being and money comes to me with grace and ease. It is, I can trust it's safe for me to have money flow into my life with grace and ease. Let's go in and neutralize and delete all karma between you and anybody else in any lifetime or reality, especially this one, where they've said to you, who do you think you are? Um, it's dangerous for you to take money. You can't take money. You don't deserve money. Um, you're not worthy of money. Why would anybody give you money? Why would anybody do anything to, to do with you with money? Let's correct that out of your system. All karma now between you and them, totally neutral and deleted. Even if it's family members, no matter who it is, completely neutral. Let's go into your heart center and forgive yourself for believing those stories and forgive everybody else who read them with such great style. So let's just go in. Money's coming to you with grace and ease, strong, neutral. You can trust that money flows to you with grace and ease, strong, neutral. You can trust that it's safe for you to have money to come in strong neutral ellie how are you feeling when you think about money coming to you with grace and ease right now as i say it feels a lot lighter <laughs> Light, yeah? yeah so Light. what number would you give it is there any emotion there at all no no none and this is this is what it feels like to be neutral to a program that you did not even know existed yeah. And so we're going to be really excited in Awakening with Ali to hear about all of the wonderful, wonderful things that you're going to be offering the world that's going to help in suffering and awaken people and that you are going to have money flow to you as a, re as a reward for that. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, very. Wow. That was, thank you so much for that. That was so wild. And you know, what's so interesting is um, when you were talking about, you know, like, you know, you're not worth it or, you know, who do you think you are? You know, I heard that a lot in, especially in, you know, the Hollywood space with certain celebrities and certain people, uh -huh. you know, didn't want to pay for my services after I would already have dressed them and done the job and all these things. And so when you were saying that it resonated so hard, I was like, wow. Well, now you know why that was happening because you had the program that there was no self-worth there. You had the program that you can't take money from them, even though it sounds ridiculous, even though you're giving them so much. And um, isn't that amazing? When you, when you are program free and you're neutral, the world is our oyster and we're meant to have fun. We're meant to have financial freedom so that we can have that fun, not just for ourselves, but our family. I can hardly wait, Ali, to be working with you now that now that that program has been released, you know. Um, and and by the way, I just want to say thank you to you for saying yes to being a guest speaker on the Heal event. Oh, thank you! I'm so honored. I was going to say this is a great segue into why don't you share? Because March is all about healing, and you're doing this incredible project. That I'm so honored to be a part of. So why don't you share about Heal? And of course, we can talk about I'm going to be a speaker as well. And I'm so excited. Yeah. So this month it's all about healing and each week we're doing these little mini challenges and then on the week of the 21st to the 25th we're calling it pre-heal week and that's where people will, you'll get interviews, alkaline recipes, um, meditations, uplifting um, 
information. Like, it's just going to be jam-packed. But on the 26th, there's an event called Heal, where we've collated these world-class speakers who are going to be sharing their information, their experiences with us. And it's called Heal, Breaking Barriers, Busting Myths, and Bringing You Tomorrow's Healing Technology Today. And we've just done four of the interviews already. And I have to tell you, I am euphoric right now because I realize that the world needs this event more than ever. More than ever, we have to understand that we're sovereign beings, that we can be empowered to heal ourselves, that we don't have to be told what we're going to put inside our bodies, how we're going to, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it. It's just this is the time for this event. It's very, very timely. And Ali is going to be coming on and sharing a breathwork experience with everybody, right? Yes, I'm so honored and so excited to get to be a part of it. And I'll be getting interviewed soon by Sandra all about this. And um, I'll have in the show notes, of course, um, for whatever you're watching or listening about Heal and the link you guys can click to check it all out and everything. So that'll all be um, in the show notes. And yeah, I love that you said that about, you know, this month is about healing. Um, And I agree with you, you know, the collective needs this more than ever. Um, And I think especially those that, you know, aren't awakened, right, that are kind of starting to awaken, that are struggling, that don't know why they're struggling. And correct me if I'm wrong, but because of where we are going as a collective and becoming more conscious and because we are sovereign beings and so many programs are collapsing and changing, this is now coming to the forefront for everyone, right? we're, We're birthing the new human and the new earth. And this, this, is, this is the kind of event that you want to get yourself to. This is the kind of event that we've been divinely downloaded. I got the word heal written in lights above my bed, and I'm going, okay, so what is heal? <laughs> and then it was given to me. And the great thing is for an investment of only $29, not only are we getting the whole day from 9 until 6, but all of the speakers are giving incredible gifts we're giving gifts worth thousands of dollars and there's going to be a private portal for everybody where everything that happens in pre-heal goes into the portal with every speaker for the day so that you're ending up with thousands and thousands of dollars in uh, awakening tools in um in things that are going to go oh okay i didn't realize that am i really meant to breathe this way like am i really meant to sit this way um you mean one little one little patch can change my entire life. Like, you know, there's this whole, this whole awakening to what is possible for each and every one of us now. And um, I've just finished interviewing, Daniel and I have just finished interviewing David Schmidt, who is the inventor and owner of LifeWave. That they have he, mine on too. Oh my God. Oh, you've got yours on too. I think I've got. No, I've, I've got. I've got them everywhere, all over my whole body. <laughs> but can you imagine that that a man divinely downloaded a scientific way of creating an organic crystalline structure that activated our heat and light energy field to spiral into our DNA with information that is telling the cells to produce copper peptide, for instance which copper peptide elongates our telomeres, which is the sign of aging, and resets our genes and our stem cells to a younger, healthier, stronger state. I mean, my skin, I've been using these for two years. Ali, I, if you had have seen me two years ago, I was okay. But wow, I mean, for almost 70, the skin, my skin is so thick and, and, and so luminous compared to what it was. My back pain is completely gone. Everything about who I am, I feel better now than I did when I was 45. And so amazing. This is what happens when you start activating brand new stem cells. And because people say, said to me after they hadn't seen me from the lockdown, they said, oh, we want to know who your surgeon is. Like, you know, where are you getting the Botox? And I'm going, here, this is my surgeon. These are my stem cells, right? And I have a lot of fun with this technology because from a three-year-old, I have known my mission and purpose was to let people know the truth, that you are a child of God and that you are love and that you are here to experience that love, that health, that vitality, right, more more love, more joy, more curiosity, more of every good thing. But how can you do it if you're suffering? 
right? And so obviously the work that I, was, I do has been ending suffering for people all over the world and then all of a sudden I discover this technology that is bioavailable to everybody for minimal cost and it's doing what I do. Like it's neutralizing. It's, it's, I asked this scientist today about the consciousness and he said, yes, it's working on the pineal gland, mm. which is working on the whole consciousness of our beingness. Can you imagine if we're activating our pineal gland with light, frequency and energy and information? When I open my patch jaw, drawer to start putting the money in the morning, I I literally go into an enlightened state. And I, by the way, I do know what that is. I've been in many of them since the age of 18. And I put my patches on and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and when I get up in the morning after putting the nighttime patches on, I can hardly wait to go, what does my skin look like today? I feel like a little girl <laughs> having fun. No, I totally get that. Cause my patches, you know, do you get it too? Yeah, I get so excited too. It's like, I, you know, I some nights I sleep, you know, with some of the night ones, sometimes I just, you know, sleep it out. But every morning I do too. And like, it's funny if I notice I'm doing a couple of things with the girls and I forget to like go and grab it before I'm like, oh yeah, I need, you know, I need to grab that. And if, as soon as I put it on, I'm I'm like, oh, okay. It's like, it's like my little, my little pick me up in like the most natural way. And it just kind of flows from, you know, the meditation I've already done and my breath work and my journaling. And so, yeah, I, I love that. And I love it. You Ellie, said- I don't know if you know any, know yet or not, but your girls, like when they get uh, tensed and maxed out and when they start to feel emotional trauma, children, more children than ever are feeling trauma. Yeah. And it's a collective, it's a collective, um, unsettling if they don't even know why they're getting angry they don't even know why they're they're acting out or they're sad or they're upset the eon patch when you put that on a child it's activating the release of emotional trauma and inflammation just wow. like i did with you it's i call the eon patch me in a patch right? <laughs> i'm so naughty but but i can't but you know what rather than spending all of that time tapping in i'm putting one of these on it's like oh yeah neutrality that's what that feels like and in the older version of us it's also working to dispel inflammation which then you know as you get older becomes arthritic and degenerated cells and and you know all sorts of things so so yeah having having fun and the other thing is I've been in business for 50 years. I really, I, I did tell you I'm almost 70, right? So I am claiming the fact that I have been in business for almost <laughs> In the fashion industry, in the hospitality industry, my husband and I built the world's best luxury coastal hotel, which it was named that in the world in New Zealand. And I was in the award-winning fashion industry. We had a restaurant. And through all of that, then all of these awards and accolades for... Um, my spiritual work throughout the world with with global leaders. In all of that, I have to tell you, I have never been more excited or felt more reward than what I do when I get to collaborate with a team of people who want to help end suffering using this technology and who want to have a millionaire mindset. Lucky we did that correction right now, right? (laughs) (laughs) I guess, yes, amen. (laughs) Yeah, because just think, a millionaire mindset doesn't mean you're going to earn a million. It means you're prepared to do what it takes to make a million. Mm-hmm. And, okay, a million might sound out of out of sync for a lot of people, but why? It's, it's actually not out of sync when you're helping thousands of people to heal. Yeah. And remember, that's, that's the word, isn't it? To heal, to end suffering. So, Ella, you and I are on this incredible journey and um, I, right now on your show, I want to say everybody who's watching the Awakening with Ali podcast, join us, you know, join us, become a member of Ali's team, which is my team, uh, get the support, the love, the collaboration and the caring of one of the most high consciousness communities on the planet. It really is such an incredible group. I mean, ever since I joined, I'm like, besides the fact that these patches are next level amazing and I'm obsessed, I'm like, the people, the conversations, the support, I mean, all of it, it's just so beautiful. And you're right. It's like when you, you you see someone use them and they're experiencing healing and they're experiencing shifting and, and the light within them, you're like, so lit up. You're like, Oh my gosh, I know I already experienced this for myself, but now you're experiencing it. Like, this is amazing. And just think 
It's all about our own activation, empowering our own ability to heal. Without drugs, burning, injections, chemicals, nothing. It's just energy acting with energy, which as energy beings, that only makes sense, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm even more excited now. I mean, I've been... I've been loving them and I've been loving the experience and, you know, using them and seeing, um, and I just ordered the, um, the Aeon that you uh, spoke to and I got, um, the ice wave, my husband's, I told oh, you yeah. having like the, the golf, uh, injury thing going on and he went to see a doctor and they're like, yeah, there's nothing really to do. It's just like one of those things that's like a repeated he's been doing for so long that it's been like bothering him. So I'm excited to use the ice wave on him to see, you know, what that does for him. He'll have pain relief pretty well instantly, which yeah. blows doctors away. I had a friend of mine um, was booked in for a double mastectomy. She had stage four cancer. Mm. And um, luckily she had somebody who had the LifeWave patches and she put two glutathione. By the way, can you imagine putting on a patch that activates the body's ability to produce its own glutathione? Without glutathione, we die. Right. right? right. So... Uh, So she put two glutathione patches on, one here and one here, right there. And then she put the Eon patch here. So it was this lovely triangle. And she drank um, a mixture with bicarb of soda in it every couple of hours for 10 days. When she went to have her breasts removed, even saying it is kind of traumatic, isn't it? Yeah. The surgeon said, no, I don't have to take them. You're you're now cancer-free. And because the energy in the patches activated the light system within the cancer cells because remember there's light within a cancer cell as well dispersing it and the cancer cell could not live in that high frequency light now today david schmidt the um the scientist explains it much better than i just did i probably messed that up entirely (laughs) but when you when you join heal you'll hear him talk about why that happened and it is phenomenal. So, so never underestimate the body's ability to heal when it's given the information and the light energy frequency that it needs in order to come back to its original divine blueprint, which is what these do. Amazing. And also too, I mean, you know, I know you said it earlier, but we've also talked about just when we've, you know, discussed, you know, David who, you know, cre- cre- uh, uh, you know created it, he said, you know, this was a divine download and message from God. So, I mean, it shows you, you know, that, that how these are working, what these are doing. I mean, that story, I've heard so many incredible testimonials. It's, it's, I mean, it's life-changing truly. And Ellie, if you want to work for a company and have your own income stream, wouldn't you prefer to work for a company where the owner and inventor is a man of faith and has that much integrity and what he wants to do is end suffering and reverse aging. By the way, his really big thing is reverse aging. He's just like, no, nah, this is a disease. Aging's a disease. It's not normal. We're not doing this. And <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Sounds I'm good to me. Yeah. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm back not, in Hollywood, I'm I used to be, you know, filled up to the brim with Botox and fillers and all things. So <laughs> and, and now all of my friends at my age group are no longer doing those things, right? And that just goes to show you that the mindset, the frequency, and by the way, you need to align, if you do decide to join Ali's team with LifeWave, know this, you will have to up level and upgrade your consciousness. Yes. Because if you don't, <laughs> you could feel uncomfortable when you wear these, right? And yeah. so you need to, because I, I interviewed someone today and she said to me, these are 6D consciousness. They're oh. pure light aligned with enlightenment and the light of the divine so when you put these on if you're not that if you're in victim mode if you're already if you're not in an awakening um, consciousness they're going to feel a bit weird and so really important let's let's awaken the consciousness let's up level our frequency vibration let's get back to our divine blueprint let's make money doing it as we're being guardians of the light and uh, I love to say, you know, when I do something really wonderful, uh, like, for instance, I go to the swimming pool twice in a day instead of once, I say, yeah, the light made me do it. <laughs> and it was like, literally, literally, the light made me do it. Um, Ali, I'm so 
thrilled that you invited me to be a part of this community, truly. I can, I'm feeling them. That's why I'm getting higher and happier. The more I'm... I say you have such a glow about you right now. <laughs> well, can you feel this? Because I'm tapping into your audience and I can feel them smiling with us. I can feel their energy levels raising with ours. And when you've got a community like that, girl, you're doing something right. Thank you. Well, I feel so honored and, and guided, you know, within our team and, you know, being on your team and, you know, obviously having Amelia is one of my close friends who's on our team. And, you know, I think when you surround yourself, like you said, with, you know, just such more like-minded, higher consciousness, especially with where we are right now in the world, you know, you just emanate more light, you know, and you just continue to bring that light and help others you know, raise that frequency and vibration. And, and that's what I realized for me is like, that's all I've ever wanted to be in my community is a light, you know? And, and it's funny when you talked about fashion, it's like, I started in the, you know, the fashion space too. And it's funny, like, so did Amelia, like so many high conscious people that I've like, you know, just met or reconnected with, like they were in the fashion entertainment space years ago. And I'm like, so interesting. We all had like this, all oh, this, you know, light about us and this idea back then, but it just wasn't happening in that time space because of, you know, where the world was. And it's like, now here we are and the consciousness is rising and, you know, God is really calling on, you know, warriors, light workers, everyone to awaken, you know? So it's, it's such an honor. And I'm so happy you got to be here and this conversation truly lit me up. And thank you so much for that gift and sharing, you know, how, you know, you heal and, and, and getting to do that with me. I mean, I, I felt honestly lighter and I got chills afterwards. Yeah, good. And also you realized how it was playing out. It, and by the way, it would have just continued to play out lifetime after lifetime if we hadn't have corrected it out now. Wow. And uh, you know, Ellie, I have uh, every, uh, once, a, once a month only just since COVID because my private clients invest up to 10000 a month to work with me, with their companies and everything because I go through their whole businesses. For $250 once a month, I do a very small group coaching session. Oh, very April. cool. Yeah. And well, I decided to open it up to make it inexpensive so that people can really um, experience this. And during HEAL, I'm the last speaker and I'm going to be doing a, a correction sessions and going over what has been, what's happened during the day. And it will be a Zoom call, unlike, uh, unlike the, the rest of it, which is pre-recorded, where you can ask me questions. So oh, people amazing. can come in and do Q&A with me. And I'm very excited for that too, to finish off the heel day. Yeah, saving the best for last. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's the best, but it's the live, it's a live portion. And then yeah. guess what? On the, I think about the last day of March, because March is all about healing, we're doing this um, free, fabulous uh, like quantum wave or I can't remember what we've called it this fabulous name but we're doing a free zoom call for everyone who wants to learn more about life wave who wants to learn more about the patches so Ali you can invite anybody that you want from here into oh, that how fun. It, it yeah definitely. and then they can ask questions too right yeah, I love it. Yeah. And you have your Q&A calls that you also do um, once a week that I've had people join um, for the patches as well. And you have so many incredible, you know, communities and sessions and all kinds of information and support that you do, you know, with the patches and everything. So it's, it's so amazing. And, you know, it's funny, I was talking to someone the other day who was like, it can't really work like that. Like, that doesn't, you know, like even my husband, you know, it's funny, like, he's awakened in some ways, and still, I think, kind of waking up from a lot. I think a lot of men real masculine men are having a harder time with mm -hmm. all of this you know because it does you can't see it right and you can't just go black and white this is what it is and it's just funny because he's like well but how like like what what is it like what do they do there's nothing to it there's no drugs there's no chemical like you know and I'm like it's it's the light I'm like it's the crystalline structure and it's just funny when you talk to different people with my husband included they're like you know rejecting it because it's something they haven't understood before and they haven't used and you know they're like how, but how does that work but it's like when you experience it you're like but it does <laughs> Well, you know, phototherapy has been around for thousands of years, really. And uh, if you explain it as phototherapy, but the best thing for you to do, Ali, is get him to watch David's interview. If you watch this, I've ever heard him. We asked some pretty profound questions and on this, the deepest possible level. And when he answers them, you go, oh, so that's what's <laughs> And so I think any man listening to him speak about it, they'll just go, oh, yeah, I got it now. I know what this is now. 
right? And very it, cool. It'll be it's mathematics. It's whatever it whatever it, it's really it, it's going to be very cool. Yeah, that's amazing. I can't I can't wait to hear it. Well, this was so incredible. Thank you so much for bringing your light here for helping, you know, share in, you know, your own awakening, how you, you know, started such a young girl and, and, you know, where it led you and helping others who are, you know, awakening or are already in that space, but are really trying to navigate it right now. I know this episode is just going to be such a space of, of light and, you know, holding space for people who are just going through all kinds of things right now, as well as if they're looking for something, like you said, to dive into that is heart led and is healing, you know, especially this month of March being all about healing, you know, it's just such a special episode. So thank you so much for being here. Everything, of course, be in the show notes, but tell us where we can, of course, find you, you know, uh, your, you know, website, you know, your social, so they can go check it out, but it'll be in the show notes for people to go find. So Instagram is Sandra Biskind. B-I-S-K-I-N-D. And the website is thebiskinds.com, which makes sense, right? It's Daniel and I, thebiskinds.com. And uh, yeah, I th- truly, you can go there and go and click on LifeWave and, and have a look at loads more information. But please don't uh, um, sign up under me. I want you to be a part of Ali's team because you already oh, are you. that and you'll still get the massive support from me and from Amelia who is loving them as well and you know it's going they're going through our community because of the the frequency that they're on you know everybody's talking 5D but they've forgotten that there's a that, that 6D is like okay that's the next one so Ali I know that you'll give them your you know you can talk to people and and everything but heal is very important and I'll, I'll send you the link for it yeah uh, but it's it's this kind I'll, I'll send it send you the link for it because everybody that you know and love you will want them to be in this and honestly for a lot of you give heal as a gift to the people that you love because this is a $29 gift that's going to be better than any gift you've ever given anyone in your whole life up until this moment so beautiful i love that well thank you so much everything again will be in the show notes and thank you sandra for you know being here and for everyone that watched and listened i really truly hope this awakens something within you it activated the light within you and like sandra said so beautifully we are all children of god we all have light and love within us so activate within that bring your highest frequency sandra thank you so much everyone love light style and blessings and until next time bye